Welcome to Indie Resources' second video on building a browser-based game using Impact and Socket.io and Node. Um, basically in this video, one, one real quick thing I wanted to do was introduce IndieResource.com. You can just go to IndieResource.com and then go to the forums, of course. And we have an excellent, um, uh, excellent group of uh, users here, uh, a lot of web users. Most everything here is web-based. A lot of web games, talk, um, I got a lot of tutorials in here. Um, just a real good place to talk and ask questions along with the impact forum so if you have any questions on YouTube about the tutorials or you want to make suggestions or anything I would recommend actually coming to my YouTube tutorial section and going to the impact and this is where all the videos are going to be this is where all the source is going to be so if you need to go to get the source um, make sure to go to IndieResource.com forums and then come into these YouTube tutorials and I'm going to put a link on there and then Impact and Socket. You don't need to be a member to grab the source. I just, this is the best place for me to handle everything because, I, you know, if I don't, I get emails, I get PMs, I get IMs, I get just all this different stuff that I can't keep track of at all and if I put it all in one place, I can keep track of it there. If you have any questions, post them actually in this form or if, 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 if it's something not so related to it there's other places to, to, to post here or you can post them at impact um, if, if we can't answer it or if you'd rather go over there just um, make sure to, to post it to where other people can help in case I can't get to it because we have a lot of really good users here and it's a it's a really good community you know we've we've got quite a few users and, and it just helps us out when you use it um, with, with that being said one of the requirements that I didn't put was WAMP we need if or or exam, whichever one you're going to use, as long as you have a local host that you can use. If you don't know what WAMP is or you don't know how to install it, if you go to the YouTube tutorials on my site and you go to the browser MMO videos, go th watch the first two videos. It teaches you, or I think it may just be the first video, it teaches you how to install WAMP and get it set up and get everything going. So that'll get you started to where you have a local host where we can run all this stuff off of a local host, um, a local server, um, to where we're not trying to upload everything every time. Um, so to get started, um, whenever you let's go ahead and well let's go ahead and grab the files. Whenever you download Impact, you're going to have it's going to come in a raw file, and you can unzip it. And what I do is I unzip it into a a folder called Impact, and then I just copy and paste it into my WAMP directory in the www, and I just named it Impact Tut, and then inside there I just pasted that in there so I can start fresh. That way if I want to create a new game I can just go back to the I'm, I'm not using the, the original source. One thing everybody needs to remember on this <clears throat> I can't send you the source of impact. What I can send you is all the JS files that we're going to create, the index file and the media files that we're going to use so all you got to do is, is put them in there especially if you if you don't want to type along and you just want the files because in the in some of the videos I'm not going to actually type it out and make you guys follow that I'm just going to type it out beforehand and then explain it because I'd much rather spend the time explaining it than sitting there having you watch me type it out because sometimes that's not the best way sometimes it is and we will do that on some of them but for a lot of them I'm going to type it out and then go through and explain it and then you can describe the source or you can type out type it out as it goes as I go <clears throat> so once that's done we'll have our index and in what I call Weltmeister I don't know if that's pronounced right um, and so we can actually go to our localhost slash impact tut and just hit enter and it'll go to this means it works. If this isn't working, if you're getting some kind of error or anything like that, um, you need to post it on the forum so we can help you work through it. And, and remember, I know I've jumped ahead quite a bit as far as the server, but I don't want to explain that again because I've already explained it in other videos and, and it'll just bore most people. So if you if you don't have the WAMP server set up, watch those videos so you can get to where we're at right now. So what's going on here? Well basically if we go into our folder and we go to the lib and we go to game, we want to open up our main.js and whatever code editor you're using, text editor, or whatever else, and I've already got this open in mind. This is going to look a little different than what you have just because I have this these inputs in here and I'm going to show this in a minute, but other than that there shouldn't be a whole lot different other than a couple commented codes, so don't worry about it, we're looking at the same thing. Um, here's where you're going to put your require files and we're going to go over this later, I'm just going to give a quick synopsis. Here's where we're loading our fonts. Um, the the main thing about the main thing I want you to notice right now is that it's here's where we we're creating our canvas and we're making it 320 by 240. We are going to change that and a zoom level of two. We're going to change that too, but I'm going to explain why. What's what's happening now is is that it we're saying um, this font dot draw. So basically, draw using this this font that we've loaded, 
and we just want to draw it works with the screen and the, the the next two is where where on the X do we want to put it and where on the Y would we want to put it what we've done is we've created two variables up here um, or basically yeah and X is the system width divided by two so basically the center of the screen and it's going to be the height divided by two which is the center of the screen and so we're just taking those variables and then put them here whoops which is going to give us center of the screen and then we're going to align the font to the center so we're basically getting the center so if we were to go in here and just put this has changed and save it go back and refresh you'll see it says this has changed so whatever we put in there now I know this isn't exciting stuff and it's not game related it's not super game but we're going to get into that I just want to see just want to show you how exactly that was working um, so the next thing we want to do let's get into the map editor let's, let's start looking at the cool stuff so if we come in here and we type in Weltmeister I'm, I'm hoping that's the way it's um, spelt and if you need to know you can just go into your folders and there's Weltmeister.html this is your map editor doesn't look like much yet but if we go to new you'll notice it creates these 32 or it's it's 32 on 32 grid um, map so the first thing we want to do let's hit this plus sign on layers and let's add a new layer and we're gonna call this ground this is gonna be our ground layer um, apply changes <clears throat> if we now you see here it's created us a, a small ground now this is 8 by 8 I don't often work 8 by 8 and I don't want to keep it by that but if you notice it's it's 30 by 20 so it's 30 across 20 20 down if we come up here and change this to 32 which I'm used to using and apply you notice it got a lot bigger that's because now it's now it's much wider um, it's 30 it's 30 of 32 so if we come in here and click tile set and I'm gonna have to grab another tile set real quick from another game just so we can have some ground here um, let's grab our ground let's grab this ground one right here and I'm gonna include this in the files um, I'm gonna put this in my media and inside this is where you guys are gonna wanna paste your media I given I gave you some media we're gonna change this stuff around but I just grabbed this stuff off the internet real quick um, and if anybody wants to create some graphics for this feel free we'll, we'll use them in the game but if you notice I just put this in here I come back to my Weltmeister and I go to tile set and I go to media and it's in there now so if I hit the ground now here's something I want to show you this is gonna be the the, the best way to set this up if you hit space right now um, <clears throat> I tell you what let's go to our let's go to our ground cover first and really we need to hit apply changes first I always gotta hit apply changes it's not automatic if you hit this you'll notice whoa I mean we can't even get to our whole tile set here it's just massive this tiles are massive it just doesn't it's just really hard to work with I'm gonna show you how to change this if you go into your folder <coughs> and you go to live and then your Weltmeister and if you go to this config.js and open it up um, you, I've already got it open up if you come here to the zoom and change that to a 1 and save that and it's going to be down the, it's going to be on line 42 change zoom to 1 um, let me click back over here and we're going to refresh it's going to ask you sure you want to leave go ahead and leave we're not going to save this yet now if we go to new you'll notice now that this it's it's much smaller so let's create a new let's create our new layer again let's get, let's put in ground let's put the tile set to ground and we're going to make it 32 by 32 and then we're going to just make it 30 by 20 that's fine I mean hit apply changes now all of a sudden everything's easier and when you hit your space bar to bring something up everything is now visible now let me show you w what will happen beyond this what we want to do I tell you what let's go ahead and make some some ground real quick and what you can do is you can you can make um, just a small square here hold down your shift key click and hold and grab this whole thing and now and if any of you, any of you have ever used a RPG maker it's a lot like that now we can just kind of paint our, our ground and if you get tired of doing that you can always just come in here and do it again and make it a little bigger and just go ahead and paint this ground in here so now we got a nice little bit of ground <coughs> now let's save it we're going to save it as let's just save it as level one and remember to put the JS on the end otherwise it's going to give you an error and we hit save and now we have a saved level this level isn't going to load yet but it's saved because I want to go back to our just delete this out of here and go back so now we actually want to get the level to load um, and and here's how we'll do that if we go back into our main.js and we go ahead and, and under our 
um, let's start up at our include files, which are require files. We need to actually require this, the actual JS file of our map. So this is where we're going to do game, or actually we need to put it in parentheses, game dot um, levels dot, and then whatever our level name is, level one. Now I probably chose a really bad naming convention for that, but we'll, we'll go back and change it. Um, just make sure you put your comma up here and leave a comma here because it's actually closed in parentheses and you wouldn't have a comma there for it. You wouldn't want to end there. The last thing we want to do is whenever we need to, in our initialization function, our night function, we need to say, okay, go ahead and load this level. So we do this dot load, whoops, I spell load, load level, and then we space it, put it in parentheses, what we're trying to load here, which is, and this is why I say I used a bad naming convention, because it's going to be level, and regardless of what you name it, I'm not. It's it's going to be level no matter what. And then you name your actual level. So it's level level one, technically. And I probably should have just named it one, which we probably will later. It's a lot easier to load it by numbers, and that way you can store it in a database with less data. But we'll go ahead and just go with that. So that's the only two things you need to do to actually load this level is just require the level file, and then say, hey, I want to load it now. So if we go back in here and hit refresh you'll see that it didn't load so I must have made a mistake I kinda wanted a mistake to come up pretty soon because um, the big thing about uh, using Chrome that I want everybody to be able to use Chrome is if we go up here to our wrench sign and we go to tools and we go to JavaScript console it will give us actually what the error is and we got an untyped uncaught type error load level on main JS line 23 so if we go into 23 here's where we're having the issue with this um, with this load level and the reason why is because you need to capitalize that L right there. So if we go back and we hit refresh it now loads so we can go ahead and close this out. So that's one of the big reasons why, why if you, you need to go ahead even if you don't like Chrome you need to go ahead and get Chrome for this because it, it'll help a, a lot when we go through and we start making mistakes. Um, so you see as, as far as this map's concerned this looks ugly. It's, it's really zoomed in. It, it doesn't look right. Um, <clears throat> It just don't really. It, it needs to zoom out some so it fits better. Otherwise, it's going to look like a really Super Nintendo pixelization issue. So if we go back to our main and we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this is still set at zoom level one. So if we change that and save it and refresh, well now it looks better. But the problem is now our screen's really small. So if we go back to the main and double our size from 320 to 640 and then 240 to 480 and save it hit refresh now we got a nice size map the font's a little small but we can change that later we're not too concerned with the font right now so I'm gonna go ahead and end this uh, video here just with hey we got a map loaded and next we're gonna get a player in there and get some real-time movement going